Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna make some onion soup. Look at all those onions and a little bit of garlic. And I gotta use all those onions up because we're hitting the road, we're going on a house sit. So I gotta think of a dish that I can make using a lot of onions. And the easiest thing I can think of right off the top of my head is onion soup. Because that way we can have soup tonight and then we can freeze it and have it left over for when we come back. And it's very easy to make, although it takes a little bit of time because you want to caramelize your onions. Now the first step is chopping up a bunch of onions, which is super easy to do, because I'm going to use an old samurai technique. Hi so what you're going to end up with is a lifetime supply of onions. And you can see I've got them fairly thinly sliced, you know, or at least as thinly sliced as my patience could stand. So now I'm going to heat up my pot on the stove. I got a nice heavy bottom pot. And I'm using a stainless steel pot. You want to use stainless steel. You don't want to use a non-stick pot. Because if stuff sticks to the pot a little bit during the cooking process, that's good. So now I'm going to put me a glug glug of oil in here. And then I'll put a pitter patter of butter. Oops. Ta-da! And we'll let this oil and butter heat up. And I'm going to keep my heat around medium. Although I might adjust it a little bit during the cooking process. But you don't want to cook your onions on too high heat. Because caramelizing onions is a slow process and you can't rush it. Now ideally you want to use sweet onions or yellow onions. It's like I won the onion lottery. So I'm going to stir these onions around into this oil. And they're going to cook for a long time. And I'm just going to stir them occasionally. You know, adjust my heat as I need to and take my time caramelizing these onions so they get a beautiful, deep, rich color and flavor. But you can't rush it. I want to, but you can't. Beep, 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 beep. Camera girl has walked by, so I've snagged her so she could get a good action shot of me stirring. Oh, good Lord. And you see, there's not a lot of difference in the way the onions look yet. You know, right now I'm just cooking off a lot of this water here. Come over here, camera girl, and get this uh, shot. I've still got it on medium heat. As you can see, I'm not trying to rush it. It just takes a little bit of time. Just give it an occasional stir, you know, until these onions cook down and we get to a point where we want to explore some other options. Oh, here's one of the options. While this was uh, cooking down a little bit, I went ahead and chopped up my garlic. But that's for the future. Oh. All righty, the future is now. And as you can see, my onions have cooked down tremendously. And I'm starting to get a little bit of sticking on the bottom of the pan, some brown parts there. But that's good, that's a lot of flavor. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a bunch of garlic. And I could have thrown this in earlier, and you could throw it in anytime you like, or you can leave it out altogether. It's entirely up to you. Just spread my onions out and let them continue to caramelize away, because I still don't have enough color on here. Now I've probably had these onions cooking away for about 50 minutes, which is a long time, but it was a whole bunch of onions. You see I got some more nice little brown parts stuck there. I'm going to go ahead and deglaze it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Now if you wanted to, you could use some white wine, whatever is handy. And with vinegar, you don't want to use a whole lot. That's a great flavor. A little bit of Italian seasoning. And some black pepper. And I don't usually use paprika, but you know, you gotta try different things in the kitchen. So that's optional. Now one of my favorite flavors in onion soup is Worcester Sister Sister Sire Sauce. All right. Now the last thing I'm gonna add is some broth. You know, if you want to use vegetable broth, you can go ahead and do that. I kind of wish I had some veggie broth. But chicken broth will do. I'm going to do about that much chicken broth. And then some water. Get everything stirred together. Now I'm going to throw a lid on here and raise the temperature. Now once it comes to a bubble, I'm going to go ahead and lower my temperature. And then I'm going to let it simmer away, covered, probably for about 20 minutes or a half hour. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so it's been simmered for about 20 minutes. And then that's it. 
Look at those nice big chunks of garlic. I'm sure that'd scare most people. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to. And you can go ahead and adjust the seasoning in the pot. You know how you like it. Add a little more salt. Add a little more of anything that you like. If you want it a little thicker, let it cook down. You can add more broth or more water if you want to thin it out. You can put some parsley in here, color it up if you want. You know, if you like, you can put some croutons on here. You know, a little cheese and then melt the cheese over top of it. Have you a French onion soup? Super delicious. Super delicious. Super delicious. Very easy to make. Just takes a little time because you got to caramelize the onions. But I'll have a link down below to check that recipe out. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you in the future.